So we're out here on the Murrumbidgee River today doing a bit of casting at Bankside Structure and I just want to take a moment out of the fishing to, to explain a little tip. I get questions asked a lot of the time about what blade should I use on a spinnerbait? Should should you be using a Colorado blade or a willow blade? Now one is not better than the other but they do suit specific situations and that's what I'm going to cover in this video. The most common which you've probably used before is a Colorado blade. Now this one here has two Colorados and the blade in question I'm talking about is this end blade. Nearly 99% of the time if you've got two blades your small one will be a Colorado anyway. And as you can see, we've got the big Colorado on the back of this. Now, when do we want to use this? Now, this suits most situations. What it does, it gives out a really nice, good thump. Fish love it. Um, it hangs nice as it sinks and it's perfect. And what it's used better in is slower flowing water. Opposite to that, when do we want to use a willow blade? In quicker flowing water. And that's mainly the first point or the main point in determining what you want to use. You can see here, this one here, it's a willow blade. Now, why do we use a willow blade in faster water? Well, what it, what it does is that shaped blade catches less water. So I said this one gives out a good thump, makes it sink nice and slow. This one will sink quicker and it'll cut through the water quicker. So that way it can get deeper in the water column in faster water more quickly. So say for example, we're fishing a very still slow moving spot. This willow blade, you can still use it in that spot, but it's gonna go through the water much quicker and that way you're not giving the fish enough time to look at your lure. Well, not as much time as if you were to use a Colorado. So when you've got slower flowing water, not too fast, um, in irrigation rivers like the Murrumbidgee, which we're fishing here, um, a Colorado works well most time of the year, except for in summer when you've got lots of flow. It'll still work fine, still works really good, especially the smaller ones, but you're gonna get a little bit deeper if you find you're not getting fish or you're not getting deep enough or the current's picking it out, picking it up and swinging it out, especially if you've got a big Colorado, either downsize or chuck on a willow and that's when it works better in the faster flows and out here it's summer we've got a lot of quick water that's why we're using a willow blade so they're the main reasons as to why you would use one and you don't need to just get a whole new spinnerbait to change you can just stick your finger in there undo that with the split ring and get that one off the other one and put it on and that's a quick easy change the other reason where you might use a willow blade is when the fish are a bit spooky or in a bit clearer water when they're when they're not quite taking a Colorado which has a big thump so that'll produce more thump so better in dirtier water slower water willow better in quicker clearer water that's how you distinguish the two now there's tips like this and many many more in the complete guide series there's over 25 hours of video content tips just like this demonstrations out on the water we show you how to use these how to retrieve them quicker slower water in that whole series there's trout cod golden perch the whole lot so if you want to learn more about targeting natives jump on and check out those tutorials they've got lots of information but that there will get you out of trouble when you're next choosing what spinnerbait to use on the river that you're fishing if you want to see more videos that show you how to catch freshwater fish with lures, then make sure you have a look at the Complete Guide Lure Fishing Series. This tutorial series covers eight different styles of freshwater lure fishing with 10 action-packed tutorial series, over 50 videos and a massive 26 hours of content. This series covers everything you'll need to know to get out there and start catching fish. Head to socialfishing.com.au to find out more.